Hey guys, it's December. Um, and so today I'm going to do um, a little bit of planning for you to show you a little bit of how the planner can end up looking um, when it comes. So this is the Adornit Calendar Girls Planner. We've reviewed this before. There's the cover. I know you've seen it. I haven't gotten too far because the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a plastic cover for it. Uh, but I have to do a little sewing. So that's my plan this weekend because um, I don't want to, to get wrecked. So we're going to do a little sewing on it. So, um, but until that, it comes with um, the Calendar Girls pages, but my December was missing. So I've kind of created my own December. So this is January's. Um, and then it comes with pages that you can outfit for weekly, which is this here. And I haven't quite got to that yet because it's my weekends that are crazy in December, not my weekdays. So what I'm going to be doing is this plan, this uh, calendar, which you can see if you look here at the bottom that mine was a prototype. So it's not quite correct, but hey, it doesn't matter to me. Oh, there's my dog barking. I don't know if you can hear him. Anyway, so uh, I'm going to show you a little bit about what I did with December. So I have a pocket here, which is kind of fun to put um, things. I'm going to put like invitations in it or little notes that I get from people or whatever photos that I might want to add later. Then I did a calendar uh, page for birthdays and special days. And this has got all everybody's um, birthdays on it. I think I don't have any anniversaries or anything in December just birthdays. And then this is my uh, calendar girls page, which was missing out of my prototype. So I kind of created my own using the art play paintables. And so now we're going to work on the uh, calendar itself. So it's two pages. Oh, whoops. Does this one not attached? Oh, that one was missing some tape. So we'll have to, I'll have to show you what I did there. So what I did was I went through and I um, printed out some pictures that I wanted to use. I'm not done. I've got a few more I see now that I look at my birthday list that I want to do. But what I did was I went through my computer and Facebook and everything and I printed out one and a half by one and a half pictures that I then cut into squares like this. And then I used my handy dandy little, um, this is an old, uh, I think it's an EK success punch. I'm not sure. And it's a corner punch. So I just crimped all the little edges. You can use whatever punch you have, but I kind of like, since uh, Adornit chose to use rounded corners, I'm going to stick with rounded edges for all of my little things. And then the pictures just kind of go in um, wherever you want to put it. This one, I'm just going to grab a couple of photo splits, just some ice skates because I think they're so cute. I found it on somebody's Facebook page, not sure whose. Anyway, photo splits here and stick that right down. So I've got a few of them in place. Then the next thing I'll do, and I probably won't bore you with all of it, but what I do is I take a, something from an old calendar. This was a calendar I actually did not use this year. And whoops, so it's December for 2015. And it's got all the days on it. I kind of just scribbled in what I want to do. So that's my guide. I'll put that up here. So I have to kind of look at this because this other calendar started differently than this one. So this has got Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So it's a little bit different. So then, so Tuesday, which was yesterday, would have been the first. And then Wednesday is the second. And I'm not really too concerned about how my numbers look for right now. So I'm just kind of writing them wherever they'll fit because I've already put the little pictures in. Um, and they don't have to be in the same spot on every one. I know that the 8th is Curtis's birthday, which is why he's got his picture there on the 8th. So you can see how I'm doing the numbers. I'm not going to go ahead and finish all of those right now because that's kind of just boring stuff. And then the next thing I want to do, and I'm going to try to decide if I'm going to put December here over the red, because these are those really nice um, see-through stickers that Adornit did. These are all the months that I designed, and I think I'm going to put it up here. So I kind of want to give it some color. So we'll take some colored pencils, I think, 
and I'm just going to put, I think I'll do some circles. And they don't have to be colored in all the way. And they can have some little doodles or whatever. Maybe I'll draw some holly or something else under it. But I think circles would be the way to go. Just kind of scribbly. Looking like holly berries there, I guess, backwards, only they're green. Let's do some red. I had a bright red, and then I had a deep red. Put a snowflake in the middle of that one. Sorry, my nose is a little stuffed up. Everybody at my work is sick. I don't think I'm sick, but my nose is stuffed up. So, got my colored pencils going. Let's see about how much I need to do. So I want the color to show through really nicely, so we'll add a little bit more. Oh, got to move the sticker there. I'm hitting it. But you can do whatever you want. I also think these stickers would look really fun um, on top of a photo. So that would be a great idea, too. But I just kind of wanted to try to do them over color today just to see what we ended up with. Do a few more little berry things. And some more over here. And then I think we'll be done. Got to add a little darker part to the center of the berry because I'm just a kind of a perfectionist that way. So that takes my circles all the way across my page. And I'm just going to peel off this sticker, oh, which peels so nicely. And we're going to pop it right up here. Oh, that's so cute. So now we've got the color coming behind it. So you can add however you want to do this. I think it'll be fun to do some watercolor behind that. Um, you can pretty much do it however you want. Then I'm going to grab, let's see if I have... A doctor's appointment. I thought I had a doctor's appointment. Maybe I don't. Certainly don't need the workout or the gym. Oh, here is Christmas. That one will go right over my Christmas tree. I'm going to have it both days because we're going to be doing Christmas on two days. Can you guys see that? So how pretty that is over the picture. It's, since it's a clear sticker, it's going to go right over the photo really nicely. So, nope. I don't have a doctor's appointment on that one. Let's see if I have this. Uh, no doctor's appointment there either, but I have a doctor's appointment, so I'm gonna use my arrow because I broke my tailbone and I'm going to get it x-rayed again. So we'll use that arrow right there. You can see that arrow right there? I probably could have thrown some color in that. And then I have when Riley comes home and my friend Audrey's birthday. I have a bunch of other friends' birthdays. And I kind of like um, these little squares. So I've made some extra ones. I'm going to keep them in a little case so that I can add them, you know, wherever I want. I don't have to cover all of it or I can use some of them. So I'm kind of just going to leave some of them and um, do some of them colored. Because I think it'll be fun to do some hand lettering here. And I'll just write, Riley comes home. Even though it's on the day before, all I do during the week is work. So weekdays doesn't matter what it says. All we need to know is what's happening on the weekend, which is craft fair, craft fair, craft fair. Then we'll take our colored pencils and it'll be kind of fun to highlight some of these days here, so we'll circle that one. That's what I think is going to be the fun, is adding in the color to all of this. So I think I'll do a little bit more here, get some of this dialed in. We'll come back and take a look at it, and then I'm going to show you um, how I'm going to add my calendar girl with wings for my uh, back page here. I hope all goes well, so give me a few minutes. Okay, <clears throat> excuse me, so I'm back, and I pretty much got these to where I want to keep them. So I added some little squares down here so I can write some, um, I don't know, either little quotes or things that have happened or whatever. I've got my important dates on both pages, so I don't need that anymore, and I'm going to pop these into the book. 
so it's all ready to go for December. And now I can start carrying it with me and writing other things in it. And um, I think for each month I'll probably carry just a few different colored pencils with me or pens or whatever so that I just kind of keep it coordinated. So for this one I'm going to use lots of greens and just a couple of reds, I think, even though Hanukkah is blues. So I may add some blues in there. And then in my pocket, which I've got going right here, I know I want to put this in because my friend Audrey made this for me at work. It says, have a great day today. And then she made me this picture from The Walking Dead. It's me in a... <coughs> I have to sneeze. I'm sorry. It's me. <coughs> there it goes. It's me in a zombie gut pouch. So if you watch The Walking Dead, you know what that is. Um, if not, anyway... It's her birthday this month, so I'm keeping that in there. And then this I gotta cut up and use somewhere because these are her cute little girls. She drew our whole group at work. This is Michaela and Diane and me and Audrey, but she spelled it in French way because she's a French girl. So I'm gonna cut that up and use it somewhere. So for now, it's just gonna go in my pocket. I have my birthdays, I have my title page, and this, I think, is going to be a special place where I'll add some photos of what happened this month. And I'll probably write December in here. So the only other thing I have to do here is if I decide to use my weekly, um, my weekly pages. And like I said, for me, in December, there's just too much going on on the weekends. So I think I'm just going to keep uh, my monthly going. And that should uh, take care of it for right now. And then the only other thing, since I feel like I got gypped and didn't get a calendar girl, this is the next thing I'm going to do. So I created my own December girl on watercolor paper. And I want her to have wings. So these are wings from Prima. And they come attached like this. So you could put them in, you know, just like that. But I want them, I want to see them a little bit more. So. I'm going to attach them like this, but I'm not quite sure where I want to put it from there. I really want to make her three-dimensional, so uh, let me grab my watercolors and um, figure out exactly what I'm going to do with her, and then I'll be back. All right. Okay, guys, I'm back. And I kind of did my background, so that I'd quickly show you that, because I wanted the paint to dry before I started up again. So I took some scraps of paper that I used with some of my um, little squares on my calendar pages, and I just sewed them down to um, some uh, just regular card stuff. And I'm going to tape the whole thing down here. Obviously, the tape that I'm using is not working very good. I wish I could sew it, but it's on the back side of my calendar, so I don't want to sew it to the page. I'll get some good tape. So then I took my little girl and I colored her with watercolor, and then I'm going to do some pencil work with you guys here. And then I took my Prima wings that I got from Prima, and I cut them in half. Oh, there's my doggy again. And I put pop dots on them, so I'm going to peel the backing off of the pop dots. And we'll get those attached to her. And I want them to go up, up and out. Oh, that's so cute. And I definitely want her to have something in her hand, but I'm not quite sure that yet. So you'll probably have to check into the blog for that. So see how pretty she is as a little angel? And she's going to go on there, popped up. So she'll be popped up once we get a little bit of the um, detail stuff done. So I added some stripes. Let's see if I can zoom in on her. Oh, not very well. This little crazy thing. Oh, that's a little bit better. Um, so I added some stripes with the um, watercolor, excuse me. And like we've done in previous videos, I like to go over my watercolor with colored pencils. So you've got a little bit of fading in the background. And then in the foreground, you have a little bit of detail. I just think that looks so pretty. Gives a little bit of a highlight. And we can take another color here and kind of scribble in some other color there just to get it going. And what I think will be so cute with her is to take a white uh, Signo pen. Have we talked about the Signo pen? 
So if you don't have a uh, uni-ball signal, that's the best white pen there is. And I'm going to go back in all the little Harlequin uh, triangles and add white polka dots. You're not going to see them real a lot because it's a very faded green here, but it'll be super cute. And every one of them, we're going to add that. So that'll take me a couple minutes. Pretty cute. Even over the detail that we just did there, the white's going to pop through. So there she is. Can you see the white? Sort of, kind of. <laughs> so I turned off the video a little bit earlier because I realized you couldn't see me coloring any of this and I felt really bad. So I'm bringing it back over here. And you can see the very end result, I guess. I'm gonna add some polka dots in her skirt in red, of course. Because she's got her red and green going on there. And I'm sure this will get some glitter glue here in a few minutes. But I wanted to finish it up and get it on the page. Let's get her heart. And I add some detail into the flower. And I think that's about it. And then I'm going to have to find something cute for her to hold. So we're going to bring that page back down. And add some pop dots. You guys all know what pop dots are, right? All right, I'm just going to add a few of these and get this on the page. And then we'll be done with this Friday. I have two craft shows this week, and I've got to get going and get some stuff done for those, too. So let's pull the backing off of our pop dots. Looks like I got backing here on paper. The stuff is, it must be getting windy because it's sticking to everything. All right, so now we just have to find her a home. And I think, I think I want her to go over there. Oh, so cute. And I think I need just the C colored in because everything else has color to it. Just except for that C. So there she is in all her splendor. I love those wings. I got them in gold and silver. So this is going to go in my book. And I'll show you start to finish here. So, back up. I think we've done this already, but I'll show you anyhow. So there's our pocket. There's our birthday list. There's our calendar girls title page, which I was missing, but that's okay. This is the page where I'm going to put uh, some photos. And then we have our calendar. That's one side and that's the other side. And I'll show you those as I fill it in. And do more stuff during December. And then there's our calendar girl on the very, very back. And that's it. So thank you so much for watching. I heard through the grapevine that these should be shipping around mid-December. So put it on your Christmas list and check adornit.com. As soon as they're ready, they'll have them to sell. Um, and I hope you're enjoying uh, watching this because I'm enjoying having fun showing you all these things. So. Not sure what I'm going to do with my next video, but this is for today. Have a great week and Merry Christmas. Happy Hanukkah.